Friday, May 3rd, 2019. Tighter Iranian oil sanctions set stage for U.S.-Saudi showdown. Saudi Arabia has pledged to boost oil output if needed as the Trump administration starts banning all Iran oil exports on Thursday. The U.S. is pushing to restart production in a field shared by the kingdom in Kuwait that could unlock half a million barrels a day. At the same time, Saudi Arabia is lobbying within the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries to change the way the cartel calculates whether the market is adequately supplied as a way to show the U.S. that no more oil is needed. The decision of the Venezuelans to stand with Mr. Maduro raised questions about whether the United States had faulty intelligence about the ability of the opposition to peel away members of his government. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange told a court on Thursday he would oppose extradition to the United States as the legal process began in London. Emperor Turkish prosecutors launched 32 investigations into allegations of irregularities in Istanbul's local elections and summoned more than 100 polling station officials for questioning as suspects. Trump declares the Russian collusion probe over. President Trump told Fox News Thursday evening that the White House has lost patience with congressional Democrats and forcefully dismissed their efforts to subpoena former White House counsel Don McGahn and other administration officials to testify. Trump said that Attorney General Bill Barr made the right call in deciding not to appear before the House Judiciary Committee on Thursday. The heroes of Saturday's Chabad of Poway Synagogue shooting in California, along with Rabbi Yisroel Goldstein, attended an event marking the National Day of Prayer on Thursday in the White House Rose Garden. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services on Thursday released a final rule allowing doctors, nurses, and other health workers to opt out of procedures such as abortions and sterilizations which violate their personal or religious beliefs. Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh resigned from office yesterday following a string of investigative stories in the Baltimore Sun newspaper about her financial dealings. Chabad of Poway Synagogue didn't get to fund security upgrades before attack. The Chabad of Poway Synagogue applied for a federal grant to install gates and more secure doors to better protect that area. The $150,000 was approved in September but only got awarded in late March, not allowing enough time for the funds to be used before the shooting this past Saturday. The synagogue is considering asking authorities to allow some of the money to be used to hire security guards, which it doesn't have now. A man who plotted to bomb New York City subways and then switched sides and helped the U.S. prosecute terrorists after his arrest has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. The NYPD had recorded 82 anti-Semitic hate crimes in New York City as of April 30th, up from just 45 in the same period last year. Three teenagers were arrested on Long Island Thursday for planning to build a bomb and detonate the explosive device at their school. The Battery Park City Museum unveiled the largest Auschwitz exhibition ever in the U.S. with chilling artifacts from Jewish victims.